Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our lovely little romp through the cold, barren north of the Warhammer universe. We return to where we left off, Valkia, after a successful fight against the Agricole, and the realization that the decadent host is trying to pull a sneaky on us. So, how do you address this? I'm going to vassalize them soon. I hope. So maybe Farmord can quickly skirt around the edges up here and make it to the Palace of Ruin before anything happens. But we will see. Alright, let us get Deadly Onslaught. Alright, I think I'm going to bypass Shagarath. Honestly, I might just force March to get extra few steps. Just to see if I can rush that Dark Fortress. <sighs> Once I get the Ag Hole under control, I can probably swing back to help the Mong out against the Dark Elves, because it does not look like a fight that they are winning. I think I'm still at war with Grom Brindle's faction, so also something to consider. Turn timers are getting a little bit faster. Those factions die. <laughs> An age of rage. An unnatural aggression takes hold of the populace. A seething frustration that explodes at the slightest provocation. Even the most placid soul becomes as quick to anger as a rabid dog. Soon enough, the fighting begins. The streets are littered with the dazed and beaten, and the gutters run red with blood. Alright, Daggeroth. You beat metal. Honestly, even though it looks like they have decided to search elsewhere, probably a good idea to have some defense up here, because I'd rather not lose Dark Fortress. <laughs> Hey, blood massacring nine plus victorious battles. Heck yeah. Alright, let's, let's get out of Forced March. An exalted hero, I assume. Okay. Alright, let's hopefully continue to march. Fortress of the Damned. There it is. I wonder how far Siggy extends this way. That's how many... Alright, he's got three settlements, but are those dark fortresses or the outposts? That is the question. Okay, he must have recently vassalized these boys. I just want, I just want the ag hole, and then I will leave you in peace. For now. <laughs> okay... Don't want to really invest in any of these cities because I'm going to be selling them quite soon. Do they now? Honestly, just to ensure I can make it. <laughs> yep, Sigvald must be a bit further up. Or else, I assume he would be defending his capital, but this is... <laughs> one of the more well-known servants of the Prince of Pleasure, so who truly knows? I do see an enemy army notification up there on the on the mini-map, so I think our friends up north have returned. Alright, let's see... Yep... But, at the very least... The Palace of Ruin now has some actual defenders. Alright. The Gore Queen indeed. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Can't cross right here? Uh, I guess that would be considered a river or something. Alright. One more turn. I do wonder if taking, like, the last, like... Dark Fortress with their traditional territory will free them under my control, or do I have to get rid of the faction entirely? That's a good question. 
stuff. Yeah, let's get our corn gifts up. I like that. Alright, we got one more turn to burn through money. If all goes well, I will jump into the Fortress of the Damned. And then use the money from that to fund a better army to go deal with Cormac Soul Shredder up there. But we will see. And the Ag Holder being passive, and I can't appreciate that. Alright, another Dark Fortress for the Blood God. I honestly am perfectly fine with that. Occupy and vassalize. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So we have the ag hole under our control. Alright, Mr. Soul Shredder. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Alright. Uh, yeah, unfortunately... I'm trying to keep this army undivided, but I don't really have the experience to make it worthy. Uh, unfortuitous. Yeah, because there, there, there's no way <laughs> this army could face that right now. So, all right. Um, and I'm a generous man. <sighs> So, I will sell you back your ancestral homelands. <laughs> you don't even want it? Don't even want to balance the offer. Um, do four. Look. <laughs> I want to give you a city and you're saying no. <laughs> okay, that is, that is interesting. Okay. Uh, um... What is the next way we should be going? Honestly, just... That's probably good. Alright. Just my sound a little bit there. Alright, let's get... I'm still not fighting many forces of order, but... Let's get a recruitment cost debuff. Okay, let's continue leveling up his health. Ah, uh, still not enough for Chaos Knight. Well, one is, but... Alright, what do the War Shrines do? At least what does the Corn one do? Mark of Corn, Encourage, Favor of the Ruinous Powers. All around, pretty good. So, what I'm going to do, I honestly do not find myself using Cormac too much on the battlefield, so we're going to turn you into a field agent. And then, we're going to take a War Shrine. Okay, then push on to the Palace of Princes. Oh, the Subtle Torture. Here is the Demon Factions, I suppose. Ah, the Twisted Towers. That's going to be a bit of a trip. Do you want, do you want peace now, old boy? <laughs> Ooh. I will not say no to another Dark Fortress, though, so maybe one more Dark Fortress before I... <laughs> Make peace with you. Um. Okay, yeah. First thing serious, we're getting the we're getting the income building. Let's get a war shrine up here as well. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna shadow them as they go. Okay, and then in the frozen city. We are... I think there was a commandment that gave you more. I guess it did not. Unfortunately, yeah, that's an event. Alright, let's get the corn... Corn influence up, and get this filthy slanesh corruption out of here.
push up to the Palace of Princes. I wonder, is that a small Norse contrib right there that I could take with the Palace of Princes? Because I don't see where else their ancestral lands would be linked, but we'll have to go take a look. Uh, yeah, their their ancestral lands go up here, so yeah, that wouldn't. Subtle torture. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright. Will there always be blood? Okay. Just gonna continue to shadow you. Okay. I don't... Probably not have enough money for that. Yeah, Valkyrie should be able to dive in there next turn. Again, I know we had we had some bad starts, but I'm literally trying to give you your settlement back. Oh, it was it was it was, it was Daggerath, right? Yeah, it was. Okay, Dargoth. Uh, I like your enthusiasm, kid, but I wish you'd buy the city. <laughs> Alright, Fortress of the Damned. Let's get that money building. And that will put us over the edge, unfortunately. Big sad. Uh, 236, 249. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That, that, that was a did-to-self moment right there. Okay, got to do one more. Ah, frick. I'd rather not dip into the attrition already, so. I say it to myself, one day we will be back in the green again. Maybe if I... Oh, once I start getting the time to start leveling up some of these dark fortresses, that would be nice. Give us the money we need. Alright, let's jump in here to get that good sackage. Alright, back up to 7,000. Priority though here. It's anti infantry and frenzy. Obviously, the charge bonus though. I prefer the melee cav, to be honest. Okay, chosen of corn. Just make these guys insane. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm just not in the position to engage there. Maybe we go back. Just keep. Keep that good replenishment up. Kaj. That's a name. Alright. Maybe we can catch Kaj out if he decides to play things a little bit fast and loose. We will have to see, though. Again, where is Sigvald? You'd think I would have saw him by now. Okay, he's doing things. Ooh. Okay, obviously more corn gifts. Oh, I thought I thought that was a tech for that. Oh, okay, no, it's this this next tech I got coming up. Are they at war with each other? I don't think so. They refriend. Huh. Alright, well. We are just going to go straight for Blood Mountain. And then maybe dive down. Don't 
don't like his trajectory there. Again, I forgot I am running on fumes money-wise here, so leveling up is probably not the best idea. Um, <laughs> Deadly Blade. Okay... Maybe... Ah, oh, frick. Could have wounded that army a bit. One Cormac to another. <laughs> uh, Alright. Should probably go check in with our Hmong allies and see how they're doing. Staying down. Okay, they've taken that out of the way. Okay, let's get another good, another good raid here. Uh, it does, does it not? We will eventually be fighting the forces of order, so I think that's a good idea. the garrison like here not not good not good at all do I want to pop in another lord there we'll see if they jump in this turn Decadent host comes up. I don't know if we'll be able to finish the Oh! Ancestral Throng looked badly beat up. Alright, so they're not attacking and they're not sieging. Where could they be? Well, that sounds good. I will take your trade agreement. Alright. I do not even have enough to dive in, Big said. Oh, they are sieging, okay. Hopefully we can do some counter attrition. Alright. Close defeat. Yeah, that ROR... Uh, aspiring champions. Just going to be a bit too crazy there for us. Alright, now that we're on slightly more friendly terms, Agholm, would you like a city? It was Dargoth. Pals of Ruin, Frozen City, Pals of Princes. Pals of Princes. Okay. Okay, and what would you give me for it? It's yours. Alright. Okay, let's go see how the Hmong are doing. Got little armies all over here. I'm glad I'm giving them some units. <laughs> uh, glacier encampment. Alright, well, they're relatively keeping their borders intact. Jump into the Tower of Sorcerers next. I don't think it's going to let us vassalize, but it'd be cool if it did. Alright, there's still Siegen. Don't want to jump in. Alright, I think we are we are doing good. We are doing the corn's work. Oh, we got some raiding down here. No problemo. Into the Tower of Sorcerers. And a decisive victory. Yeah, we're occupying this. Alright. 
Cormac. Be cool if you could hit him again. Very nice. <laughs> now it's a decisive defeat. Good lord. Well, I think I'm keeping him low enough to where we don't got to worry about the sieging. So what I can do with you, Farmort, is I can come and help out the Hmong. Give you some good experience. I'm still hesitant to start uh, doing the undivided gifts. I mean the um, the upgrades since I'm in the red, but you know maybe maybe we'll we'll keep pushing on here. See what money we can make. See if we can vassalize a third uh, Norsekin tribe. I think this will. S Hmm. Um, you know what the plan could be? We are above Norska right now, so... Yes, Wolfric, I will definitely trade with you. We could attempt a... Once the North is united... Yeah, I do not care about the settlement, it is yours. Once the North is united, we could attempt a... Uh, invasion of somewhere... Maybe Ulthwan. That sounds fun. Alright. Cormac, please! Okay, very good. Okay, down to a close defeat again. Under his... Yeah, eight turns. Okay. Now Cormac can keep, keep doing it right. You know, honestly, I would be joyful if you can come and help out. Okay, let's get you down this way. Uh, uh, honestly, to from Infernus to the Twisted Towers, I think it's a good call. Can wipe out the decadent host and secure another tribe. I think that would be a good, good win. And this hopefully an opportunity for a good open field battle presents itself. But we will see. I think the Twisted Towers is his last settlement. <laughs> I am loving the aesthetic up here, but just the world just ends any further north. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's a good assumption. <laughs> I mean, that is where the Polar Warp Gates would be found. Alright. Let us... Occupy and furnace. Just to get that good replenishment. And then... Can I keep going? No. Alright. I don't think we can make the Twisted Towers in that turn. But we can certainly try. <laughs> I bet you do. Okay. Oh, cribbity craps. <laughs> Mung, you're you kind of. I mean, Agkol, you're kind of, kind of, kind of messing with me here. All right, hold out for one more turn, <laughs> maybe two. If I could do two, get the subjugated Norskin tribe on my side. Uh, I think. Yeah, now that we're back here, we got to care about dwarf and other elf politics. tricky situation we find ourselves in. Okay, Deck and the Host still not pushing in. Rebellion in the Shardlands. Where are the Shardlands? Um, yeah, definitely give me money. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unfortuitous. Uh, I wonder if I could sign like a I wonder 
if they'll hold off one more turn. One more turn, then I can snatch, snatch a funny from the jaws of defeat here. Okay. Do I have to burn Nagaron to the ground one more time? <laughs> we will see. Are you guys at war with the ants? Yes, you are. Okay, that's good. Alright. Fingers crossed, guys. One. One turn. Hold off for one more turn. I don't know if their ally being close to them will encourage them to attack. They're in the 60s, I know that. Uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, this is unfortunate. Well, I'll still be able to jump in and I'll take their ally away from them, so... Worst comes to absolute worst, but that is all we can do for this episode. So, we will come back to our desperate defense of the Fortress of the Damned. Not going to be much of a defense, I'm going to call it here, but maybe we could take a few of them with us. So, Alright, thank you very much for watching, folks. I do appreciate your patronage. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.